Okay, um, so this one again should be review from last semester, but I think it's a good one to go over really quick. Um, so um, we can think of these two reactions. So and ask ourselves, we'll, we'll compare them, and ask ourselves which one would you think would be um, the faster SN1 reaction? Um, would it be uh, the top one here or the bottom one here? Um, yeah, and you guys, I can see, yeah, you guys are already saying, of course, the bottom one, right? And you remember from last semester why, right? It's because, of course, uh, both the fluorine anion and the bromine, I guess so, let's start and say, well, what is an SN1 reaction, right? What's going to happen? This is polar solvent, so that's going to... Um, Leave, lose the leaving group because we've got a secondary alkyl halide. And the mechanism, of course, would be very similar for this one. It's just the F instead of the BR. And what we would make, effectively, is this secondary carbocation. Okay, so that intermediate there. And it's going to be the same intermediate. Well, let's draw it over here for both of these ions, or for both of these reactions. Okay, so that secondary carbocation. So since you have the same solvent, make the same secondary carbocation, the only um, determining factor, uh, the rate determining factor, should be what is the leaving group. So that's what we're really looking at. Which is the better leaving group? So that's the real question we're asking here. When we're really asking which is the faster SN1 reaction. Um, so which is the better leaving group? Well, um, they both have a negative one charge. So that's what you're really looking at is, um, well, you've got to compare their charges. It's the same charge. So now we've got to compare something else. Well, we've got to think, well, the fluorine is very small relative to this huge bromine. And since they have the same charge, negative one, right? Um, but the bromine has a much bigger surface area and they don't like to have that charge concentrated. So what they'll try to do is kind of push it around their surface area like that. But since you've got more surface area on the sphere of this huge bromine, And think of these as all partials, if you will, partial negatives. Same thing up here. So since it's the same negative one charge, you've got a very big surface area to spread it out. This actually is more stable. The bromine anion is more stable as um, by itself than the fluorine is. So the fluorine actually wants to stick very close to the alkyl portion of this alkyl halide. So the bromine doesn't mind so much to have that negative charge because it's, you know, very big and it can um, distribute it for uh, around its surface area and the fluorine can't do it as well. So that's really what you're looking at is the size of the leaving group. So since the size of the leaving group is much bigger and Bromine, it's going to be the faster SN1 reaction. So let's just to finish it off, just write that. Which one's the faster? Bromine is faster, the fluorine is slower. Why? Because of the size. Okay, but makes sense, right? Okay, cool.